Creamers, I'm super excited today. I have with me an incredible singer, songwriter, dancer. <laughs> Her name is Kaiza. She had a hit song by the name of Hideaway in 2014. She toured the world, literally like went everywhere, blew up overnight, and then she got hit by a car, nursed her brain back to health, and just released a brand new album called Crave, and it is dance-tastic. <laughs> and we're going to unpack all of this today. Yay. Kaiza, how are you doing today? I'm amazing, I'm so ready to get creamed all over. This. I mean, if that's- Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> and listen guys, if you have not yet, please hit that like button, comment and subscribe. I will personally be making sure that Kaiza answers all of your questions in the comments below. And he's aggressive, he will do this. Oh yes, I'm incredibly aggressive. Now let's <laughs> get creamy. <laughs> you invented something called pomlet. <laughs> Great research. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking about that the other day. No, I did not do great research. <laughs> in your promotional tour in 2014, <laughs> you mentioned Pomlet in every interview that you did. Okay? So I know that you're a cook and I know that you like to- People are still trying to get my Pomlet recipe and I've never shown anyone. And so I told them it's a patented recipe. I'm gonna find a kitchen and we're gonna make it's you do a it for us. It's a technique. It's not that it's hard, it's just, it's a technique. For the creamers, I get them stuff that nobody else gets. Mm. Get creamers. Cream. I'm here working for you. I need some of that. Cream. I'm going to get this Pomlet, pizza omelet recipe out of Kaiza, she is going to make it for us. And I know that she hasn't done it with anybody because I no did my got research. It. I've had chefs make it, like ask me, everyone's like, how do you make a pomlet? And I'm like, I can't tell you. Well, I'm gonna videotape it. Okay, but you're gonna and have to like, you're gonna have to like throw in something to barter with me to like get my recipe. Okay. <laughs> I think I have some, I think I have stuff to offer. Okay, like what? I, I don't know, I'll help you with your NFT drop. Okay, mm, okay. Uh, in exchange for like a very, I do, I do hey, videos. We could drop. I make videos. We could drop the pomlet recipe as an NFT. I don't know how that would work. I'll animate it. It'll be like an animated recipe. It, 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 <laughs> it, it, it'll be an animated recipe <laughs> card that just like sing, spins and, I will and twirls. Sing, I'll sing the recipe to whoever's cooking it. <laughs> this NFT world is like, I think, Only driving people crazy. I, you know, okay. I, if, so you made the pomlet. During quarantine. I also invented cheesecake toast, by the way. Cheesecake toast? Yeah. Like I can make toast taste like cheesecake with very few simple things. Talk to, talk to me. No, I you've, 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 you've piqued my interest. <laughs> I can't give away the recipe, but it's very simple. And, and you can like, instead of having to go through the process of making cheesecake, you can make cheesecake toast right in your kitchen. What I do, like throw a bunch of cheesecake on, uh, or like cream well, cheese on top of some toast? That'll have to be another, you know, another, we can start a cooking show on my YouTube. I, I have a, a channel that I can use for these things. Oh. Kaiser's like secret inventions of the kitchen. No, we need to beef up your your audience engagement on your on your YouTube. I know, I just don't use it other than for music videos, but I should. I have I, a lot, I, of, I have I a lot think, to offer the world. I, I think, I, you know, you are, <laughs> you know, we just met, yeah, YouTube? And you're an incredibly dynamic person. Thank you. Uh, hi, YouTube. Hi, hi. creamers. Hi, creamers. <laughs> hi. These we are, all love our cream. These are these are the creamers. That's a good name. I need a I need a name for my fans. You have to. I, I don't. They, I, they I, wanted to know, and I came up with all these different names. So they kept changing their names. They're like, "What is it?" I was like, "You guys tell me." They came up with different names. We never settled. Kaisers. Kaisers. That sounds really intense. That sounds very <laughs> German. Hey, it does. It does. Have you toured Germany? Oh, that's one of my biggest fan bases. I love I Germany. Love, I love that, like, they've been so good to me over there. Yeah. Berlin. I love Berlin. Yeti Hood asks, Okay. What is your favorite dessert? Ooh. Uh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> it's like my song. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Ooh. I like to eat myself uh. for dessert. <laughs> I like to eat myself for dessert. <laughs> Ooh. That could go many ways. Um, cream on top, baby. Cream on top with extra cream. Only here. You heard it here first. 
I, a lot of desserts are going through my mind. I have really been into chocolate souffle lately with whipped cream and chocolate sauce. Uh -huh. Love me a good gluten-free chocolate cake, cake with a molten like chocolate filled inner sauce uh -huh. and, and filling. Similar, very similar to a chocolate souffle and I just love me some creme brulee. I love, I love creme brulee. Creme brulee is one of my favorite. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with creme brulee. It always tastes good. You don't get it wrong usually. Most people don't get it wrong. Never. It's, it's like almost impossible to get it wrong. Exactly, and it tastes so good. Aristazelma, I'm so sorry for butchering your name. I'm, I'm really sure I did. Asks, do you believe in ghosts? Yes. I have had many ghost encounters, and my ghost encounters are like in the physical, like they alter the physical world. That's a whole other podcast. <laughs> Guys' encounters with ghosts. So... <laughs> Sarah Francis Rose has three questions. What was your experience like at Berkeley College? Oh, okay. Um, my favorite thing was just the people that I met there. Uh, I actually think college is, any college is most valuable for the people that you bump into. Um, I love Berkeley. I skipped a lot of class because I was hustling the music industry simultaneously. So uh -huh. yeah, I don't know if I was the best student, but I had good marks. Did you graduate? She I asks. did, yeah. She I graduated. It. I like to finish what I start. And then her third question was, are you guys dating? Who? Us? Yeah. Uh, are we? I don't know. We I, 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 had, I invited we, you to dinner and you, you accepted. So is that a date? I don't know. <laughs> I mean. I don't know, Sarah. I, uh, we, I don't, I don't, we, don't have an, we don't have an answer for you. I, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to discuss this. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. You're not supposed to put us in the spot like this. It's not, it's not etiquette. Not good etiquette. Okay. Okay, next question. Victor Hugo Picks asks, have you dedicated the lyrics of a song to someone? Like officially or were they written about somebody? Like, what do you think, what do you think that means? Were they written about Wait, somebody? Wait, I have dedicated songs. Which one did I dedicate to somebody? I once uh, wrote a song about a, f and I dedicated it to my friend and said that you can never find a man to match the feeling of this song. And then she comes back to me later saying like, ever since you wrote that song and dedicated it to me and made that dedication, I've never been able to find a man and I need you to undo that by writing me a new song and dedicating that to me. And so I wrote her a song called Perfect Man and I described exactly the man that she was gonna find she found the exact man in my song. So I apparently have like magical powers with songwriting. Are you a gypsy? I might be. I might actually be a gypsy, who knows? Maybe okay. in my past life. Listen, if I have any powers, I have not honed them. Okay. They're like, I'm like Harry Potter before he knows he's a wizard. Okay. Weird ha stuff. Haven't gotten happens. on the train yet. Exactly. I have Got no it. idea. Weird stuff happens. Have no control over it. Probably should start thinking about it. Okay. I might be a wizard. Jim Only One okay. asks, who is your favorite singer? Oh, it's a hard question. It's a really hard question because like, like my favorite diva singer, my favorite like theatrical singer. I mean, I just like- Let's go diva. Ah! You know, I'm thinking like the Whitney Houston's and the Eddie James and like which one of them is the best or Love Franklin. Eddie James. Like, oh, I, like they all have so many things. Going like Billie Holiday is so good. Yeah. If you go back, it's like, how do you choose? I I, I really felt like, um, in terms of like having control over her voice and just like superpowers, I really always felt like Whitney was one of the most yeah. incredible singers ever. My one of my favorite singers though. I'm trying to think who I could just like. Because sometimes you like they're not necessarily the best singer, but your their voice can just transport you. I always felt like Death Cab for Cutie. I love him. Yeah. Um, Ben. That was his name. Yeah. Was a, had a, a voice that really transported me for a while. I loved Damien Rice's voice uh -huh. back in the day. My favorite voice ever, I mean, Freddie Mercury. It's a bit cliche to say nowadays, sure. but I mean, he was amazing. Um, yeah, they, I mean, they could really go down the rabbit hole with voices I like that, that I love. Parrot Lover S asks, <laughs> does she use any hair gel? If yes, what is the brand? 
Okay, so no, but like people have used hair gel on me and I don't know what the brands are, but you know what? I found this shampoo and conditioner that I love and it's called Tate's. It is literally, there is not a single toxin in this. You could pretty much eat it. I'm not telling you to eat it. Don't want any lawsuits. Don't, don't eat it. Don't but eat like the ingredients are so natural that you can't believe that it works. And it works. It's like the shampoo works, the conditioner works, and you can leave the conditioner in your hair. And so um, after I'll just stick the conditioner in my hair and like I put a substantial amount. Yeah. And I, I find it just makes my hair soft and it makes it curl nice. Um, in terms of gel, honestly, there's a lot. I just, if I'm gonna get a gel, I just go like find gel. I like that. Diva, Diva Curl has a good gel. If you're going for curly hair, if I, that's a good one. So Red Sharks 47 asks, do you know the song Black Balloon by the Goo Goo Dolls? It's a really good song. Yes, I do. It's a great song. <laughs> it is. <laughs> great band. <laughs> Ugh. Kaiza, thank you so much for coming today. It's been a pleasure. Can you let everybody know where to find you? Yes, you can literally just type my name into Google, K-I-E-S-Z-A, and I'm a one word wonder, one name wonder. So like literally on any platform, just put at Kaiza. TikTok, I just started, so it's working my way up on that. But like Instagram, YouTube, it's so easy to find me. Like you. You can't, you can't not find me if you go looking. So. Amazing. And listen, guys, if you loved this conversation, which I'm sure you did, we got a lot of cream out of you. Please <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. And if you comment a question to Kaiza in the, yes. in the comments below, I will personally Force be me. making sure that she answers your comments. Yes, I will. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.